horrible, horrible, horrible company. Do not get Frontier at all if you can if you can do it. But if you do, hope that they have fiber in your area because the fiber, the fiber in there isn't nowhere near as bad because they actually do have fiber in certain areas. Like I think they're gonna upgrade. All Sorry guys for interrupting this video, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and some other stuff. But thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube record the hate speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks unless you're a late night talk show host but if you guys really want to help me and support my channel you can do what is happening right here probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing right there see you can subscribe click the bell and there's some ding dings right there see that, that's pretty but really guys if you want to do that it would really help my channel now let's get into the actual video so hello welcome back to my channel today is tuesday it is a beautiful day i'm up really late though which is sad because the chicken should have outside running around all morning but I got up at 2, and now I gotta go let them out, and we're gonna do that first, before you take my dog outside. Sorry, Jack, I'll come back for you later, because I don't want you up there, and the chickens will beat the crap out of you, and I don't know what to do here. So we're gonna let the chickens out, and we'll take my dog for a walk. Anyways, guys, let's get this day started. I will cut back in a minute. Hi, guys, I'm back. We're gonna let the chickens out, and then we'll take my dog for a walk after that, because chickens need to get out. They haven't been outside all day, and it's like almost 3 o'clock. Should have been out since, like, 8 this morning, probably not. I really need to start getting up earlier. I'm neglecting the animals because I'm not getting up early enough. My mom needs to start letting them out in the morning. It's going to be this one. They need to start doing it. Because it's daylight when they leave so they can just put them in the... Let them out and keep them in the fence and I'll get them let them out of the, the fence up here. That's how we did it last year. So, I don't know why we can't do it this year. Of course, my mom's scared to death of the roosters though. She won't go near them. She won't even come up here anymore. So, there's that, but, uh, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, right, right, uh, anyway, you guys, sorry about these horrible camera angles, I'm trying to film here with stuff in my hands, and it's pain, 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 pain. Also, guys, when we take my dog for a walk, we gotta have a whole discussion about my internet and what's wrong with it and what the heck they're doing to me. And I gotta yell about it. What's wrong with this? You guys ready? Oh my gosh! Oh, these one not bad. <laughs> nope. Yep, they ate all the corn too. And drank all the water. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Anyways, guys, I will come back in a few minutes. I gotta get the eggs, gotta give them water. I will come back a little bit. So, hi right, guys, I'm back. We got my dog now. The chickadees are running around all over the place. I gotta feed the birds. I didn't realize they didn't have no food to do that in the way back. The chickens are all running around, having a blast. Still kind of bad for them, but I don't get it to let them out all day because it's been very, very nice today. They should have been out by at least 11, 10. They should get out like 8 o'clock, but my parents don't go to work until 7 in the morning, and so it's still too dark for them. And I don't get up till 2 some days, which is like today. I really need to get up earlier, man. This is driving me. Ugh, I feel sorry for them. really need to get up earlier. They need to be able to run around all day, at least inside the gate all day, and then once, or the fence, and then about now is when I can let them out and run around the whole yard because I can watch them. Whoa. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> well, it's a big drop off there. Oh, anyway, guys, like I said earlier, we're going to have a little conversation about my crappy internet and what they're doing to me now because they're crap. So right now, I have Frontier Internet. Like, not the fiber stuff, the old stuff, like the uh, copper lines, the DSL, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So the way that works is, is in order to get faster internet, you have to have a line, and one line is six megabytes per line and you're supposed to be able to get up to three but in our neighbor in our neighborhood they have upgraded the the lines in forever so we only got whatever lines they had 20 30 years ago so we only get like one or two i got two because i'm lucky because i kept complaining about it and i finally got upgraded to two lines which should be 12 megabytes which is ridiculous because we're paying 60 dollars a month for it anywhere else you pay 60 dollars a month you can get like 100 200 300 400 500 gigs gigs megabytes or even a gigabit speed like 
There's actually another provider in our zip code, but they only come out so far, and they stopped like a mile, two miles before our house, and they could get gigabit speeds for hundred bucks for sixty dollars a month, which we're paying, which we're getting twelve, which is ridiculous to begin with. But the one that we have, we could also go to satellite internet, which kind of sucks because then there's like phone internet where they, if you go over, they charge you so much, and if you use so much data, they slow you down. So I don't think I don't know how much they give you, but I know it's not enough for me because I use internet a lot, and plus the. Uh, what do you call it? The latency is really high, so you can't really do like online video calls or online game or anything like that. So it sucks all the way around. Jake, we're going. Jake, come on! You're not going down the road. Stop it! Come on. So it sucks all the way around. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, a couple like last week. What is this? This is a mole. We got molds or something. Looks like a mole. So, anyways, like a week like a week ago, our internet has been acting funny. I actually stopped checking the internet all the time. I used to, I used to check it all the time because it's so slow. <laughs> but I checked it a week, like, sometime last week. And, and anyways, I checked it and it was five and it wouldn't go above five, which means they cut my internet speed in half. But what they're doing is, is they didn't even, they didn't even tell us that they cut it in half. So what I think they did is they took it off and put it on, there's a new house that just got built down the road. And they, I think they hooked up two front chairs out there. I think they took our speed and gave to them half of ours and gave to them. So what's it's probably you'd think that'd be illegal because they didn't even tell us they've doing that, and we've been paying for it for two years now for double speeds. Anyways, we called them. They said they I don't believe any word they say because they're really bad about this. Their customer service is crap to begin with. They don't even know what they're talking about half the time. For example, when we first moved up here, some woman told us. Oh, just plug it into the wall, it'll work, even though we had no wires, because we just moved up here. And they said, oh, just plug it into the wall, it'll work. You don't need nothing else. I was like, dude, yeah, we do. They wouldn't believe us, so they sent out some guy, and they said, oh, no, you need this, this, and this. And then we had to wait, like, six months for an engineer to hook us up, which is even more ridiculous. Anyways. Anyways. Huh. Anyway, so back to what's happening now. I say, I think they took us off and was going to make us pay for double the speeds, even though we wasn't getting it, because I don't think they realized, like, people are smart to check their internet speeds to see how fast they actually are. Because we're supposed to get 12, which we usually don't get 12, we get like 10. But we're supposed to get like 10, but it won't even go above 6 right now, so that's like half. It gets like 5 now, which is not what we've paid for. And we're still paying for the double the speed, which we're not getting. So, I think they was basically like, hey, Jake, what are you doing, dog? They basically like, hey, we're going to charge them and not tell them we took them off just to get more money out of them because we, we suck horrible 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 company do not get frontier at all if you can if you can do it but if you do hope that they have fiber in your area because the fiber the fiber in it isn't nowhere near as bad because they actually do have fiber in certain areas like i think they're gonna upgrade all the fiber pretty soon or they're wanting to but out here we're way out in the country so we don't got i'm complaining like <laughs> i'm glad they have internet at all because some places like this don't have internet at all like just a couple years ago frontier was the only provider in all of Preston County, like the entire county, which is utterly ridiculous if you ask me. And even like the schools and everybody was running off of it and it was really crappy DSL internet. And they started doing everything online at the schools, like all the testing, like the dead ride tests and stuff they had to do online because it was like a new state rule. So they start complaining about it. And then they also built a big country club way up in the, well, there's an interstate up above us and it's actually booming pretty well. They have like a bunch of new houses and a bunch of millionaires and people are moving up there because it's like booming business and stuff and they have like a big lodge it's like a big uh it's actually a big like uh it's like millionaires and billionaires go there to hang out it's like a country club they start complaining about because they didn't have any internet so they made their own company from pennsylvania and they actually start making internet for everyone they it's not at us yet but it's slowly working its way around they're wanting to bring it to everyone in preston uh preston county <sighs> oh i can't breathe you gonna let us through. Hey, let us through. You gotta let us through, Mr. Rooster. Come on. Hey. You wanna be mad if I walk up there? Jake. Jake, they don't want us going up that way, Jake. Yep. He gave us the clear head, Jake. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying. A minute ago uh so basically they made their own company and they started uh bringing it to everyone they actually went to the school and they went up to 
they started the high school because it's the only basically like the only school in the entire county because they all because it's like the middle of the county and the county's huge so they made everyone go to one school they used to have like seven different high schools and then they all just like no oh, we'll just put them on one school and they also like this school is crazy because it's like it's a high school it's like three it's like three buildings well two it's two buildings and then half of one building is underground the other half is above ground and half the one under under there's three layers underground and that's the k through eight which is elementary to middle school and then they have the high school on top which is like two floors and then they have a rotational school in the back which is the high school kids can go there and also they have just regular like vocational classes like welding mechanics stuff like that carpentry and they can go there too don't high school but yeah and that's like the only school in the entire county which is ridiculous because there's not a lot of people living up here but they're just we're just really spread out because we're like really really spread out like we're one of the biggest counties in the state but there's just not a lot of population it used to be a bunch of little tiny high schools scattered around all over the place and then they were like no nah, we're just saving money by making it in the central part of this of the county like when i went to school i went to school there one year well kind of one year because i dropped out a high, dropped out that year because i didn't like the school i went there one year and I had to get up at like, I had to catch a bus at like 5 o'clock and I'd get there at like 8. So, and there's some people that got up earlier than I did had to catch a bus at 5 and get there at like 8. <laughs> so, and also the school days are really long. It was like 8 to like 4 because just, just to get everyone there on time is a hassle. So it was like, yeah, it was like 8 to 4. It's like a solid, like, yeah, it was a pretty long school day. And plus the school sucks. Like it had like the lowest test scores in the entire state. One of them, it's pretty bad <laughs> and they also yeah like that's one the internet in my state isn't even the best the only place you can get really internet in my state is like the cities and there's only like two or three cities like that well i'll say like five cities in the whole state that, are, that have like fiber optic internet like right there and you can do whatever you want like everywhere else is like crap internet if you go out like a couple miles from the cities you ain't getting nothing you need some like the like small cities don't even have internet like towns like there's small towns they don't even have internet and it's ridiculous anyway guys enough about me rambling about internet and issues i'll talk to you guys in a little bit so hi guys i'm back guess who's here finally Ha! Ah, <laughs> you the star of the show apparently as you put it <laughs> and my voice just went super high for no reason oh yeah jake 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 I'm tell you about kicking your ass. You wanna go, man? Do you really think you can kick my ass anymore? Yep. I know karate. These these fists are registered weapons. Yeah. Is that really a thing? Or that's just what they said in the movies at one time. And like, I don't think you can actually register your fists as weapons. Obviously, like, I'm pretty sure that's fake. Right. Uh, right. Right. These fists have killed forty men. Boxing, got that too. You me. What? They used to say that about boxers. What? You couldn't actually you know, use a fist for getting a fight or something. Really? Why? Mm. Jake, they're crazy out there, Jake. I think there's something with the camera out there. The world is crazy, Jake. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with these? The man versus the internet. You were. Did I tell you how. You know how bad our internet is, right? You probably don't realize it. What we're paying for internet in Mason Town, for what we're paying, we can get a hundred times the speed or a thousand times. Well, maybe Mason Town. It's <laughs> only two miles away. Yeah, but two miles. They should. Yeah, exactly. They should be able to bring it to us. Two miles. Mm -hmm. They should. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> they should be able to come two extra miles. I mean, heck, all these new houses being built on the road, they should come out this way. Yep. What, they got like 15 houses to the road now, and they just built that house, the neighbor's house, uh -huh, and uh -huh. five other houses uh -huh. around. What? Getting too crowded. Wait till I put my trailer park in. Mm. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to put a house development in. My right. log cabin's out. No money. Huh? We'll build like four or five log cabins, rent them out. We're moving out of here. Why? 
getting too crowded. Oh, it is not. You call this crowded? Can't even see the neighbor, barely. I look out the window and see. Barely. I see all kinds of neighbors down there. <laughs> barely what? Whenever I was a kid, we are the only house on this whole road. <laughs> Me, I was a hill. I remember about four houses, five. <laughs> Five houses all the way to the bus stop. What was the bus stop? Top of the hill. What do you mean, top of the hill? Top of this hill before you go down the steep hill. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. I didn't know what hill you mean. The giant hill that looks like you're on a freaking roller coaster. Mm -hmm. You ever went down that really fast? You probably go flying. Yep. <laughs> go like 80 up it. Come flying off there. No, you haven't. Yeah. Why? Well, what do the gas get stuck? <laughs> the gas got stuck. How does the gas get stuck? You have a car that did that. How? You bet. I get something on the carburetor or something. Well, one, they don't have carburetors. <laughs> they don't have carburetors no more. Back then. Yeah, they don't even have car. Now they have fuel injectors and all driven by mach computers. It really is. Okay. Can we, That's why they say modern cars can actually run on moonshine because they have, they have machines in them that tells you like how high to regulate the pressures and stuff for the yeah. Yeah, they did. The old cars weren't around, but the new cars did. Yeah. Moonshine. Yeah, because because they have machines and it regulate the amount of air to put into it and gas and everything in it. Yeah. Now now listen, <laughs> old old cars could run on it, like super old cars. That was like, yeah, like the mall, yeah, like the mall T and A, those kind of cars they could probably run on it, but, yeah, but like once they got like carburetors and stuff like that, they probably couldn't. It did crazy. Okay. Turn it <laughs> anyway, guys, I will cut back in a few minutes. So, oh, hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go in the vlog. Didn't really do a lot today. Talked about how bad internet is and what the heck is going on and just. <laughs> I'm not the only person that doesn't have internet. Like, a lot of people out in the country don't have internet. I'm just going to have internet at all, but it's crappy even if it is. Like, it's better to have... Like, I think I'd rather not have internet at all rather than have crappy... Well, I take that back. Because if I did YouTube... Well, if I didn't have internet, I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll roll the outro. Bye, guys. I'm back. If you made it this far, I want to say a big thank you because watching a lot of my videos like this, if you watch to the end... Leave something below, like banana or lemon, or leave leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far. Well, it'll be our little secret to anyone who doesn't watch to the end. You won't know what's happening in the comments. One, because comments are good for the algorithm, and two, watching to my videos and it's good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, it'll be awesome. Also, there's videos here, here, and here. There's two beside my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great, also. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Woo!